I brought a little bit of anxiety because it's hard to be here. And another part I brought you real anxiety that all of us has is anxiety about food and about future. You put the order that you think it's important for you. So is it future food impossible? I tried to find the answer. You see, I did have a good conversation with cows. They, they have the same worries. And uh, Google didn't help. And I decided to foodle that. So to do the exploration around the designers who do um, some project with the food. And I found the sweetest spot I could find. It's Nando Akisata, that um, the project about chocolate melting. And it's melting and formulate in the chocolate texture furniture. And I said, that's the sweetest spot. We have a secure future for food. But wait a second. Someone designed from chocolate. Someone's eating chocolate. And they designers as well, eating chocolate from non-food. What is it? It Dutch designers. And they bridge together people through the food, through the dinner. And very confined situation. You have a hole in the tablecloth that vertically. And you need to share food with people that you don't know. And what they're talking about? Guess what they're talking? Eating designers? They're talking, OK, you eat, you should. Yes, I said, yes. And then you die. <laughs> Bad part. You don't want to die, but you're still in Expo in Italy, Milan, and said, OK, wait a second. It's another uh, part of population. They call themselves eat shit critical designers. Oh my god. And it's going even deeper. They have uh, the shit museum in Italy. And they do amazing work. They try to convert what our common currency in something else, in the building material, in amazing stuff. And in Japan, I found a beautiful project for kids that you just miss it. Anyway, kids go to the toilet and they're sharing uh, intimacy with um, about what they do. So um, here, why we didn't do need designers? Because defi designers find uh, the bacteria that hungry for plastics. And these plastic convert uh, to the edible mushrooms. You see how profitable? Designers good people. Um, so, but good that who makes the food accessible, accessible item for people, for example, visually impaired. And this is a very interesting project for um, a royal um, college um, student that gives the uh, power to visually impaired people to feel the level of liquid and temperature. OK, is it future of food outrageous? Uh, looks like. Uh, but that's our alternative protein. The group of designers designed the uh, desk side um, farms for uh, eatable uh, worms and mealworms. So can designers um, design um, pleasure around the food that doesn't look pleasure, like we not ready to trade steak to this piece of in vitro meat. But IKEA designers or the external uh, lab, uh, Space 10, they found out the way to present the famous meatballs like those. Um, how can designers uh, shift the perception around food? Who doesn't like chips? Everybody likes it. But it's not about you. It's not about chips. It's about um, psychology behind the sound. We like this crispy sound. And here designer came with solution this plate, you put your foot on the plate, you don't like the sound, and you think, maybe I should change the menu. So it doesn't look good. So how a designer can improve relationship between people and food? And here an amazing project called Leekestra. You can lick your uh, electric ice cream cone and play instrument. And first of all, you overcome embarrassment you know, to lick the ice cream in front of everyone. And you uh, still have your um, test backlog um, working. So another amazing project to taste our relationship with food, it's a spandic cloth, uh, table cloth. So unpredictable movement of food uh, brings you on the stage with food, and you don't know how to handle that. So uh, that's a very interesting way to explore how you really like your friends and food. So does lettuce talk? Uh, MIT people said, yes, it does. The way it tasted, so it talks back to you. So we're expecting Facebook and would be Facebook for lettuce carrot, whatever they grow. That's interesting way. Um, is future improbable? Um, the internet of food uh, and the way how Cuba found the sleeve that has touch in screen and all uh, goes information with the wine. Nobody can trick you with the cheap wine anymore. You know exactly what you're drinking and how much, I hopefully. Um, 
can designers change the consumption and production? And here it's a studio, they found the way for fast food. You come, a computer knows your slot, um, you know your menu next time, uh, the door open, they have your name and your quinoa salad there. So pretty clean, pretty sterile, but I think still better than McDonald's. Um, how can designer change production and consumption with the labeling? So here the tree, if the food is bad, the, uh, it drops, so you see it right away and the floor is not good. So, or MIT with IDO, they came with the, the spectrometer and you just go with, uh, with the detector and you know how good it is. Food reshape our city. And in the past, this is a map of London in, uh, in the middle of 19th century, and you see the, the market just in the middle. Uh, next slide shows you connection with the market today. See, it moves away, moves away, and uh, the city doesn't look the same. In the present, our city must look like a um, food truck festival very soon. It's up to us how we decide that. I think it's a problem. I will leave it with you. My comment's not good. So in the future, how the city will be reshaped. And here the dilemma, how hungry we are. So what do you think? Hungry we are and taller the tower. So we decide, does utopian appetite lead to dystopian future? It's up to us how hungry we are, how we can revisit our appetite. And I think the most important part I, with our relationship with food, we need to know what we want, how in the perfect world, how we want our food to look like. This is the Parisian scene. They, each year they have half of the century the same routine. They, in one day, they bring the chair, they, they bring one friend apparently, and they have the universal festival of food. I think it's perfect. What do you think? 